What's good, everybody? This video today is going to be a gem because I got so much valuable information in this one video. So for one, main purpose of this video is to teach you about extraneous solutions. So I'm going to teach you what are extraneous solutions and what situations to look for extraneous solutions and how to identify and check for extraneous solutions. And on top of that, we're going to do a review on radicals and quadratics. And by now, I know you guys have seen them in almost every equation. So for one, extraneous solutions, right? When we talk about radicals and when we're talking about um, quadratic equations, I'm sorry, we're going to have more than one x solution. And sometimes both those solutions do not satisfy the equation. So when we're looking at a radical equation like this, to solve for x, we have to get the radical by itself. So that means I have to add this 5 to the other side or, you know, get rid of it on the left side. So what I do on one side, I do to the other. So now we have radical x plus 7 is equal to x plus 5. So now the radical is by itself. And for us to get rid of a radical, we have to square it or take it to the take it to its root power. So what do I mean? Because there's no root right here, we know that it's 2, so I'm going to take this to the second power. If this was a cube root, then I would take it to the third power to get rid of the radical. That's all that means. So I go on the other side and I do the same exact thing. Now for my students, right, who are moving too fast, this does not equal x squared plus 25. If you just square these two terms, that is incorrect. What this is saying to us is we're going to have x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 5. And if you need help with foiling, i got a box method video attached down below. Check that out. I love the box method. So the box method basically gives us a visual component. So we have x plus 5 on top x plus 5 on the side, and now we just multiply. x and x gives me x squared. x times 5 gives me 5x. 5 times x gives me 5x. And then 5 times 5 gives me 25. My like terms run diagonally. So now that we have that, let's go back to the equation now, the problem. So in the next step, radical is gone. We're left with x plus 7. And this is equal to x squared. 5x and 5x gives me 10x, and then 25 stays the same because there's nothing to add to it. Now, at this step, guys, we have to combine our like terms. So let's do the x first. I subtract x. I'm going to have 7 is equal to x squared plus 9x plus 25. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, but we have to understand when we move 7 over, Zero is what is left, okay? That equation, that equal sign doesn't just disappear. So I subtract 7. Subtract 7 from 25 is like term. Let's get a little bit more space up here. So now what I have is 0 is equal to x squared plus 9x plus, let's see, 18. So now we solve the quadratic, I mean, not the quadratic, the radical equation, right? We got rid of the radical, but now our equation turned into a quadratic equation and we have to factor. So this is when we write out our factors, right? 1 times 18, 2 times 9, uh, 3 times 6. So we're looking for something that when we multiply, it gives us 18. When we add, it gives us 9. We know it's not 1 and 18. I know it's not 2 and 9. So it has to be. 3 and 6. So 0 is equal to x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 6. Now at this step, we always set our factors equal to 0. So I have x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 6 is equal to 0. We solve and get x by itself. So this turns into x is equal to negative 3. Just subtract 3, right? You know, I don't think I have to do that step, right? Subtract 3, and then on the other side, we subtract 6, and we'll get x is equal to negative 6. Okay, so there's a lot that's going on. So, like I said, we start off with a radical equation. The radical equation turned into a quadratic equation. 
And now we got our answers. X is equal to negative three and X is equal to six. So which one is the actual solution? So for us to check this, we have to plug the answers back into the original equation. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to start off with six. So anywhere I see X, I'm going to substitute in negative six. So I'm going to have negative six plus seven minus five is equal to negative six, right? That's all we had. So now at this step, what we're going to do is just simplify. So I had the square root of one minus five is equal to negative six. So we don't talk about the square root of one much, but guys, it's just one. So now we say one minus five is equal to negative six. So we have negative four is equal to negative six. That is not true. So guess what this means? X minus six is an extraneous solution. And the only way that we're going to figure this out is if we plug it back into the original equation and check. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is let's see if three is also an extraneous solution. And we'll switch colors so this could stick out some more, right? So rewrite the equation. We have negative three plus seven minus five is equal to negative three. Remember, these two were x's, so we just plugged in negative three for them, okay? So what happens now? We combine, we have radical four minus five is equal to negative three. Once we simplify radical four, it's going to turn into two minus five, which equals to negative three. So we say negative three is equal to negative three. So wrapping this on up today, guys, when we're talking about extraneous solutions, after we solve for a quadratic equation or a radical equation, it's important that we plug the answers back into the original equation and check. If our answers or the equation, the left side doesn't equal the right side, it's not a true statement, meaning it's an extraneous solution. But if when we plug it in, the left side equals the right side, that means that is the actual solution and we can negate or forget about the other one. But Thank you guys so much for joining us today in our Extraneous Solutions video. We really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, smash the like button for us, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments for future videos you guys would like to see. Or if you guys had video uh, questions or comments on today's video. Thank you guys for joining us.